<laughs> hey, welcome back. So what's changed with the van? Well, not much. Um, we kind of drive it around here and there, but as far as adventurous adventures, we haven't really done any. When we first got the van, the speedometer didn't work. And I traced that down to a bad speedometer cable. And actually it's like a two piece system goes into this little box. That part broke, whatever. Replace all that and the speedometer now works. But what doesn't work is the odometer, the thing that counts the actual miles. There's a little gear in that gauge and I'm guessing that that is not spinning or something's wrong with that. To address that, one, we're gonna pull this whole gauge cluster out and two, we're gonna go inside because it's cold. First step, pop this little duder off. Blah. Remove this little doodad here. Unplug the uh, brake connection thing right here. And then there's four Phillips head screwdriver, or four Phillips head screws. One, two, three, four in each corner. You probably have to gonna undo some of these switchies uh, to get at them, but basically it's unplug everything, do these four screws, and the whole thing pops right out. Last piece of the puzzle is this main plug right here. So just be careful sliding that guy out. And then it should release the gauge cluster. Right, so check this out. Pull this open, and basically the way that the speedometer and the odometer work is the speedo cable pops into there, spins around, and that spins a whole bunch of gears and everything in this assembly. And normally what happens is these little gears here come loose, and that's what causes the issue with the disconnect between the speedo cable and the odometer. It looks like if you see this little like wire piece in here, somebody's already been in here to address the issue. So I don't know if that's the thing. And the reason why I believe that to be the case is I've got my makeshift speedo cable right here. Pop that into the back speed the van up and if you look closely the, the trip odometer is now spinning So since everything's working appropriately, I'm just gonna hit this gear with a little dab of grease and put it back together. Back outside and I guess I've proven that the odometer actually works. So then maybe it was just an issue with the connection to the speedometer cable. I don't know. We'll pop this thing back in and try and test that out. Okay, uh, speedometer's clipped in. I don't really feel like driving around the block a hundred times to see if that works. So I think what I'll try and do now is take the piece off the other end and try and spin that. I might need a helper. All right, the other end of the speedo is actually connected to the wheel down here. Get this little clip off. Try not to lose that. Let's 
see if I can... Okay, so we got the end of the Speedo cable right there, and let's see what turning it does. So I got my little drill bit here, and the idea is... Perfect. All right. So now, if I can do this and look at that. The speedometer kicks up totally fine, uh, but the, the tripodometer just wasn't spinning. So I'm not really sure what the disconnect is. When I had the, you saw when I had the drill in there, turned over just fine. When everything's connected now to the speedometer um, and it doesn't spin over. So I tried resetting it, clicked over for the one tenth, two tenths, but then stopped. So something is getting jammed up. I'm not really sure what it is. I need to do a little bit more research and it's starting to rain. So we're going to pause here and pick up sometime soon. Welcome back. It's a new day. I've got the speedometer completely removed from the cluster now and I wanted to just take a look at some of the gears and mess around with them. So let's see what we got here. The speedometer cable goes into this thing and spins around and these guys are usually the ones that go bad. Hopefully I can see that. All right, there we go. So the helical guy spins around, turns this kind of greenish one, and that's what connects to these doodads here. They basically correspond to Let's see what we got. Um, that's going to be tough to see. Anyway, there's like two gray gears right here. And I just started fiddling with them using a toothpick to turn them around. And everything's functioning properly. It's all connected as it should. And again, um, when, I, when I turn these things, the miles go up. And when I pop the drill in, that goes up. I just did another test on the van itself. So I plugged the cable, speedo cable in, used the drill at the wheel to turn it, and it was functioning. I don't know, maybe me messing around with the toothpick on these gears fixed something that was stuck. Who knows? But I'm going to put this back together. Fingers crossed. Let's put it back in the van and, I don't know, see what happens. So I've got the gauge cluster put back together. I'm trying to drive here. I got the gauge cluster put back together and the last thing to do is just go for a quick little test drive and see if it works. Let me just navigate this stop sign real quickly and hopefully we'll take a quick look at the gauges and see what's going on. So, speedometer is still working, albeit very, very low, still working, but yes, come on baby, 19.8, come on 19.9, 19.9, very exciting, definitely took a minute to get there, but it works, and now, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's not really that exciting, but the van correctly adds miles and therefore removes all excuses not to drive further. I don't know. Thank you for watching and uh, Happy New Year. See you next time.